G'day everybody, and welcome back for some more Scrapyard stuff. I say stuff because I'm actually beginning today in my build world. The reason I wanted to start in my build world is over the past, I think like two weeks, I've had open submissions for people to add things to the Scrapyard mod. And some of the submissions have really nailed the scale and the style that I was going for with the for the scrapyard mod so what I thought I'd do to begin today was add as much as I could of this over the next hour or so uh, to to the mod and then go and start looking to find them to scrap them to get myself to space um, <laughs> which is why I'm sitting here staring at a bunch of Helicopters, which were one of the, well, some of the submissions. Which are really, really nicely done. So these helicopters are by Ufol, and they're exactly the scale of the builds that are currently in the scrapyard. All of them, even the tiny, tiny little one, up to the giant Chinook style one. Uh, is that got a button to open the door? I don't see a button. Hmm. Maybe this one's open? Oh, we're going through the door. Nope. Why did the door open? Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. This side's open. With a vehicle inside. <laughs> and, um, this vehicle kind of brings me onto another. Whoopsie. Still getting used to the new keyboard. Um, kind of brings me to a point about some of the vehicle options that I hadn't really previously considered for the scrapyard, which is, this doesn't actually have functional wheels. This just has wheel blocks slapped onto armor, which allows for more um, styled builds rather than builds that are actually functional. And that's really tempting. <laughs> really, really tempting. But yeah, there's heavy lift cargo helicopters, but these helicopters are really cool. There are a few other things that are really cool, and then there are a few other things that are cool, but also impossible to implement. Um, something recently submitted were these trains. Uh, with a bunch of cargo, rail cars, and the like. I think could be an interesting option, but I still have no idea how on earth you would do rails in a believable way having them spawned in. Because even a station this small is way too big. You're never going to get flat ground, enough flat ground for something like this to spawn in without bits of rail sticking out of the ground. Which sucks. Um, but yeah, it's, you're just never going to get that precise accuracy you need to make this look believable. Which is why I hadn't done trains. Or at least, when I say never, I can't think of a way to make it work. If I, I'm going to keep puzzling over it, but I just cannot think of a way to make trains work. Which is, which sucks when these trains are this good. Um, so it's like, ugh. But yeah. To give you an idea, in terms of scale, these hangars that are 10 blocks by 10, I think, about that, maybe 10 by 12, um, they are probably too big already. Like these are these are probably too big already, which makes it very very um, uh, unlikely that something as gigantic. As, as this warehouse is ever going to be able to be spawned in. Uh, so it's not really a, an option. Oh, that's actually a fair point. I wonder if we could make elevated rail and then have the train spawn on top of the elevated rail like we did with the highway sections. That's valid. Yeah. Um, also, <laughs> thanks. Thanks, Yestergear, for three months. Thanks, Mavalite, for the 22 months at Tier 2. 
Thanks for the 100 bits, Leatherboy. And Kitsu, you madman. Thank you for the 2,000 bits again. Um, <laughs> thank you, Omni5, for a year. And thanks, Killer1393, for the two months. So, yeah, I think, um... I, th I think maybe some bridges could be an option to get these rail cars in because I was also there have also been some other rail cars submitted um, some of the other things submitted are interesting but don't quite fit the style like this repair workshop a um, bit more expansive and bit larger than what I had imagined however uh, things like, where is it? Things like this, that's just random industrial machinery. And, like this grain lifter. The random industrial machinery kind of makes me want to make more random industrial machinery and have, like, a new type of spawn cluster, which is a random industrial place that looks sort of maybe like an oil refinery, maybe like a brewery, but something big and random like that um which is kind of cool because i hadn't thought about doing something quite like that though i am going to have to be mindful that these caps don't keep their rust texture right now uh there's a bug with them so i won't be able to use those caps on any of the designs until that gets fixed because otherwise it's going to look weird real weird thanks tax gideon thanks for the sub Uh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, one of the th reasons I wanted to do some additions to the stuff on the ground was that I'd like to I'd like to pad that out a bit more, because obviously that's going to be a long phase of the game for people. Um, but I figured if I can pad it out a lot more with the stuff that was submitted, then I can feel more confident about moving to do that stuff in space for when you reach space. Uh, and then... Some buildings like this one, which made use of a very cool little idea that's probably not strictly required, but it's a very neat concept that I hadn't really thought of. Sandwiching two mag plates together so that you can drop a large grid loose on another large grid. Because that's like the, the pipe cap has fallen off from there. And I love little story elements like that in builds. But this this structure could quite easily fit in with um, my idea of making a an industrial spawn. Uh, similarly with this one. Though, given that I want to do large grid thrusters in space only, I would obviously remove this one. <laughs> Uh, what was the other thing? So, so, I like the idea of this farm thing, but the scale's off. Like, these are... Because this is built in large grid, it the, the scale just feels quite off to me. Which is unfortunate, because it's a good idea. I just would... I would definitely want to... If I was going to make a farm stall, I would definitely want to build it in small grid so that the scale's right. Because it needs to feel small and... Um, I think large grid just makes it a bit too big. But I got some cool rovers. I got a fake motorbike. <laughs> which very much fits the a Mad Max sort of theme. Um, a little construction rover. Some other kind of similar sized rover designs. Thanks, Getsu! <laughs> Thank you for another 10 gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, some tractor designs. The tractor designs kind of make me want to make them not functional. And just put them on, like, static wheels on a grid. Because from the side, they can kind of look okay with when you got the suspensions. But the suspensions definitely make them look odd from the front. 
So it does make me wonder whether I could mess with the idea of um, building some tractors, even using these bodies as the tractor bodies, and then just slapping wheels on them. Because also it means I can slap double wheels. Because you don't really need it to be functional. One of the smallest submissions was this little wheelbarrow <laughs> with a shovel. <laughs> it's just kind of cool. But yeah, uh, so... Uh, the other, Another thing that was submitted was this. Which is a dance club. Uh, which unfortunately also fill, uh, falls under the uh, bit too big to spawn in properly size of things. Uh, despite scale-wise feeling right on the inside, it, it is probably going to be too big to spawn in. Especially with the car park. But yeah, like... Looking at the scale of that compared to the scale of one of the hangars, you can see it's almost twice as big. But I think the concept could be taken, shrink it down a bit, because it can be like I think it can be compacted and then obviously get rid of the get rid of the car park area. And that might be workable. Yeah, the hangars are a lot smaller than people gave them credit for. Oh, these buses too. That was another thing I wanted to show. I think the buses are done pretty nicely. One thing I would change, I will change about them before I bring them in though, is I'll get rid of these um, plates that are used to imitate doors. And the reason I'll get rid of them is, if you see a bus like this, you want to be able to walk onto it. <laughs> and having these in the way means you can't. Um... So it's, that's something I want to do. Yeah, Zero Nut, my, my plan with this has always been to have lots of junk that doesn't really have something, but, so, say with these sheds, the majority of them don't have terribly much useful in them. Like, they've got maybe one or two blocks each that's, that are useful, but there's so many variants of them that you don't know what you're going to find, so you actually end up searching it. And if we go over to these uh, broken down office buildings, my concept with these was that the buildings themselves are mainly just plate, there's not much useful in them, but they've got enough potential inventories in them that you might find a really good tool there, like I did. And so you want to search them, not for the stuff that's in the grids, but for the stuff that's in the loot. And that's something I want to kind of continue on with other builds is you're not necessarily just looking for blocks you're looking for loot too wow Jax wow <laughs> you can strip it down oh man um so that's that's one of the things um I think I think the uh, the idea of making a campsite is a tricky one because you'd want to have tents and those tents are going to be rigid and that means they're going to land on the ground in awkward orientations but also if the tents aren't really really tiny you'll notice that part their corners are sticking up off the ground which may look weird um, yeah more highways sections would probably be good too there's also this little caravan, which I just love because of the curtains. The curtains just... <laughs> I love it. Although, it does make me want to switch which side the door is on. Yeah, they do really tie the room together. <laughs> when I when I pasted this in and I was like, hang on a second. 
Those are curtains on the window. So, alright, focus, Splitsy, focus. I would like to try and add these to test them today. So what shall we begin with? I think I might try and maybe we try and get this industrial sort of area. Oh, the helicopters. Yeah, that's a fair point. We'll start with the helicopters. Part of me part of me is torn on leaving the rotors casually spinning. Kind of I'm kind of tempted just to leave them just drifting like that. Yeah, Caffeinator, unfortunately, you with MES, you can't spawn things in the sofas. I don't think they even have inventories by default. Thanks, Alflington. Thanks for the prime sub. Um, Alright, let's begin with these choppers. So, they're obviously fully intact, which is great. It's kind of useful for me to have stuff like this sent in intact. But we've got to smash them up a bit if we're going to be spawning them in. Let's start with the littlest one and we'll work our way up. Okay. What do... Oh, so it's even got a fake seat too. Interesting. Alright, what blocks does this have on it? It's got an event controller. It's got a bunch of AI blocks. An ore detector. I need some sort of control access thing on this so I can see what blocks it's got. So we've got access panels. Defensive move. Defense... Emotion controller, event controller, inset light, ore detector, rotor, small battery, and a couple of cargoes. Okay. That's not anything too much. I think the ore detector is required because it kind of looks like the exhaust. But I wonder whether I can replace some of the internal blocks. Do I even need to? Maybe I don't. Is that the emotion controller or is that the light? That's the emotion controller, right. Thanks for the prime sub, Crinkly Bear. Maybe blow the tails off? Yeah, maybe. Let's do that for one of them, at least. Um, these don't deform, so let's just delete it. Oh, actually, no. It's not just the... Whoop. <laughs> oh, dear. I did the thing I shouldn't do. Oh, no. <laughs> um, yeah, let's, let's, let's not paste that in. Because that ain't right. That ain't right at all. Forgot about that aspect of the undo mod. Uh, so what I was thinking of doing instead was... Uh, if we pop off... There... And there... Then I go grab... Where have I got them? Over here somewhere. These... It's going to let me paste these in. It's probably not because there's a block in the way of... Oh no, it is. There we go. Paste that in there. Don't 
know if I'm going to be able to paste this back on because of the rotor on top. Maybe if it moves out of the way? Yeah. I did it upside down. Yeah, close enough. I know I didn't do it. Yes, I did do it. I did do it upside down. Whatever. It'll be fine. <laughs> uh, and yeah, definitely break off some of the rotor blades. But what I was... The reason I did what I just did then was if I put the remote and battery that are going to be deleted as part of the tail section, it means we'll get the tail section and these will spawn in in an unusual orientation. Thanks Dr. J Tubbington for this prime sub and for the fun name to say. Um, let's get rid of the glass. Try and smash up a, like, age it all a little bit more. Do, 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 do. Oh, heavy armor, hang on. Uh. Bit of a bonk. Whoops, wrong way. Bonk. Bonk. Any of these ones? Or I forget. Uh, this, the mod that I'm using right now replaces all of the armor, it can switch between armor types, heavy and light. And where the green lines are is pointing to light, where the purple lines are is pointing to heavy. Okay, cool. That's done. It is a very handy mod for creative building <laughs> when you're doing things like this. It's incredibly useful. Okay, uh, what else should I age on that? I'll just take a few a few chunks out of the back here. That'll do. Um, yeah, I've been... I've been intentionally avoiding putting dead engineers around the place. Uh, largely because I felt like once I put dead engineers in, I sort of forced people to think of this in a specific way. But without the dead engineers, there's questions about why there are no dead engineers. But also, there's no real clearly defined... It, this is what must have happened. Like, did this rot here? Did this crash here? And who knows? Thanks, Kuklin Poika. Thanks for the 100 bits. They turned it to dust long ago. Yeah, something like that. Uh, now this one, I might turn damage back on for. And... Oop. Let's see what happens. I don't know if anything's going to be left when I'm done with this. You know what? That's still recognizable as a helicopter. I'm down with this. I don't even know what. Did I couldn't even hear the explosion. It seemed like the explosion got weird. Uh, 
rotor. Since it doesn't really add much and it's another subgrid if we don't need it. Yeah, that's two variants on that one. So my idea would be to kind of create two to three options for each style of helicopter. Um, part of me is um, it's tempted to make one more version of this one that's a bit more intact because I wasn't expecting... I was a little worried the rocket would do that much damage, but I was hoping it wouldn't. One that's in pristine condition that explodes when you get close. That's a bit meaner than I've been in this. Haven't been that mean. controller trying to get rid of anything that looks still somewhat newish on this Last thing. Yeah. I think this works. Okay, so that's three versions of that. <laughs> oh man, this is going to take forever if I do this for all of them. It is kind of cool to have more aircraft though, because I was... I was really happy with how the um, the earlier planes had gone in. It's just nice to have more vehicles that aren't, that aren't just road vehicles. And planes and helicopters don't strictly need to have other stuff around them for them to make sense. Where, unfortunately, trains kind of do. Oh, ignore the horrible looking things that I was trying to do some test builds of a DC-3 with. Because they did not work out. I'm going to have to spend a lot more time with them if I want to make them work. Also. There we go. <laughs> Need to get rid of that tree. Rifles are the best way to do this. I don't know why I'm getting no gun sound. Something weird is going on with that. Something very weird. Yeah, all I'm getting is the plinking.
Sneaky sounds doesn't touch rifle sounds. Because I wanted the rifles and gun battles to stay loud. Um, so I intentionally didn't touch any of the weapon sounds. Indeed. People send in builds and I immediately start carving them to pieces. But that's that's sort of how it's supposed to be. And I see that plushie there. I'm gonna leave it. If you submit builds for anything that I'm doing, you've gotta know that I'm gonna do stuff like tear them apart. If anyone's seen like if you'd seen what I'd done with the rest of the mod, you knew this was coming. But it makes such a big difference to the believability of stuff like this when it's got... Um, when it starts from a complete build and you scrap it down. The believability of the build is massively enhanced in my books. Because it's so much easier to make something that as you wreck it, still looks like the original thing. Helmet visor doesn't do anything. I'm not playing with realistic sounds. Clean this up a bit. Um, I don't think I'd put an inactive turret in these, largely because uh, it's it's small grid, so the smallest turret is five by five by three. So I don't think it'd fit. Um, I suppose in theory you could do like my little mini turret design that was using the turret controller and a little battery, but it'll still be pretty big. So my plan today, for those who missed the beginning, is to do a bit of this to add these designs and then get to playing with them. But I want to get some designs in first, because otherwise the designs aren't there for me to play with later. Because I was at the phase in the test series um, where I was going to be doing a lot more exploring and I wanted to have more things to find. <laughs> so I figured, well, if I want more things to find, I need to add them. Uh, that's, I'm happy with that. And I'm going to do this the quick way. Let's hit this one about there. Oh, these rockets ruin small grid. Yeah, there's no weapon sound at all. Weird. Um, that might have been a bad shot. Let's do that again. I don't need a weapon that's explosive like the rocket, but does about a... half the damage? To make this sort of wreckage work a bit easier? No, uh, Tommaso, the... Icarus stream is on Twitch. It'll be on YouTube tonight, too. It followed on from the farming sim uh, stream. Because I didn't stream on Monday this week because I was examining in my uni job. Oh, actually, that's a good question. How big do explosives explode? 
Or dropping it. Yeah, I could try dropping it. Let's try dropping this one. Do, 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 do. Guess we need to drop it from higher. With a bit of an angle. Excuse me. Blech. Explosives. Spawn object. No. Stay on the thing. Nope, missed. There we go. Blammo. This could work. No! I pressed the wrong button. I really don't know why I don't have any weapon sounds. Odd. Oh, this works nicely. Look at that. This works really nicely. Yeah. Yeah, that's loads better than using the rocket. Here. Yeah. So if I hit the target... Oh, this is totally going to be my technique for doing this now. Let me get rid of these hatches. Oh, I should have checked what's on this grid as well. Access panels, timer block, programmable block... Event controller. Oh yeah, nothing. Nothing I need to worry about there. Is it nothing too generous that makes me go, ooh, jeez. Someone was trying to sneak in some stuff. Oh no. Oh no, I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> Alright, let's grind off a bit of this door, because I don't think that door is going to survive what's been done to this. There we go. And then a little bit of damage to the glass. And that is a nicely damaged bit of helicopter. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, the the event controllers... I think I've got one or two of them in the version that you guys are playing. And I've added some more to my... The non-live version that I've been playing. I need to get rid of this. I don't want the Saberoid on all of them, just on some of them. Bonk. 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 
may as well for this one do the same as what I did with the other helicopter and put the remote and battery so the towel bit comes off. Uh, I did order the Sabaro plushie IRL. Yes, <laughs> I did. I, I'll be interested to see when Toby's a bit older, how he reacts to the Sabaroid and Space Engineer plushies. Oh, no, it's, it's not going to work. Oh. Uh, what if get rid of tail rotor blades? Now do it. This should work. Oh, the other one, it's in the way. There we go. Nice. So for those unfamiliar, the remote and battery get deleted on this thing getting spawned. So that'll mean when it spawns in the tail rotor, the tail section will separate from the main body. So we end, up, we end up with two pieces there. There we go, that's those two sorted. Uh, for these ones, I think I'm just going to go for the moment with one of each because the two variants have different stuff in them. Oh, Charlie tried to steal one of um, Toby's toys that he'd been gifted already. But she's ne we've never given her any plush toys because we didn't want her to think that plush toys were things for her to chew. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard to convince her that she's not allowed to have them. Alright, what is inside this, if anything? Ah. Nothing. Nothing is inside this. It is... It looks like a tank inside. <laughs> cool. Alright, I'm not sure what to do with this chopper. Similarly with the bigger ones. <laughs> how do I how do I keep these looking kinda like what they're supposed to? With while also turning them into scrap. Oh, something I didn't show off. I've been working on a warehouse design myself. Uh, something that I can spawn stuff inside and also put some large block things inside. Obviously, the design here is not scrapped. I started off with a more clean design. But yeah, this was... This was the plan. Once I realized that the planes weren't working out, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Oh yeah, the Chinook could be cut in half. Which Chinook did I grab? I think I grabbed the further away one. Okay. Um, yeah, I reckon we... Yeah, this one with the door open, I'm going to try and make it so it looks like it's landed more intact and then just been worn down. 
Let's just grind out various bits of this one. And all the glass. Yeah. So this one will be mainly landed intact, but everything everything's just taken wear and tear since it's landed. As you can see, a few people have been doing the wheels that don't actually function thing, which I think is a great way to get wheels that look right without um, needing to worry about the weirdness of the giant suspensions we normally have to deal with. Yeah, truth. Seized wheels from sitting around idle for ages. Makes sense. Get that block in there. Come on. Need to get that block at the back of the cockpit. Try not to get rid of too many of the details in these cockpits, because they're really nicely done. So once I've scrapped these, I think I'm going to add them to the mod, and then we might just... The, only, the other thing I might do before going back to playing my actual survival save... Um, would be to um, try and make a bit of that industrial spawn group that I was talking about. Because we've got a few buildings that we can already put into it. And I can check what blocks are in it and we can make sure we add what we need to and then it should be good. Would these be good places to hide small H2 thrusters? Yeah, probably. Um, I was actually thinking of doing that on the choppers, so thank you for the reminder. Yeah, I was thinking that the choppers would be kind of perfect for the small H2 thrusters of on a couple of them. Yeah. I think this works. Just do a bit more on the cargo container. Maybe just for the sake of having it not sit flat. So what I was thinking of for the hydrogen thrusters was they'd kind of work on something like this in a position like this exhaust. Maybe I can hide one in the back of this, too. Oh, no. Um, no. There we go. 
That's enough extra. <laughs> yeah, get sued. Same thought. Replace the ore detector. Um, that's a couple. I'll, I was also thinking on the back here of these sections on the Chinook would be a good spot to have one or two. Because obviously having them as part of the plane spawns and having lots of the, the aircraft spawns having them isn't going to really be a problem. Because the aircraft spawns are still only one spawn type, so... They're still somewhat rare. Now for the Chinook, at least one of them, I'm doing this. Perfect, it was the one with the car inside. The lack of sound is so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh... And drop. This is kind of working. This is coming together. Although I probably don't want to ruin too much of the back end because that's kind of what makes it obvious what it is. The other one I'm going to leave a bit more intact, just like the cargo lifter. Uh, but it's kind of nice to not have them all instantly recognizable. Well, uh, not uh, not have them all look complete is probably a better way to say it. I do want them all instantly recognizable for what they are. But complete is not desirable. And if I... Obviously, given more time, I'll add other variants of each of these just to have different blocks on them and things like that. But I think for now, this is kind of good. Uh... Let's drop some explosives. Bonk. Copy operation has failed. No. Give me the things. Thank you. Just want to drop one in. Sort of did what I wanted it to. Not quite. Yeah, this works though. I'm happy. I do hope they fix the access panels. It's kind of annoying that they don't keep their rust texture. So what, I'll pro what I'm hoping to do is um, I'm hoping to find some time next week to do a stream where I'm just working on the mod. Obviously for Friday streams I kind of want to play a bit more than just mod. But yeah, I hope, I hope I'll be able to come up with a time this week because then I can do stuff like trying to work on a design for an elevated rail section so we can get some of those rail cars in. Maybe even design a few more. Tweak a few of the things that we've discovered today that I've been too generous or harsh on. <laughs> Thanks, Freyhugs. Uh, what should I do to this one? 
think. No, I did the wrong thing again. I shoot that. Oops. Definitely had TFE explode stuff by grinding these before. Oh yeah. That's controllable damage too. Nice. The storage crates are supposed to be empty a lot of the time. They're not all empty, but they're supposed to be empty sometimes. That's intended behavior. Sound bug is really putting me off. It's so weird. Is that landing gear locked or something? How's that staying up? Hello? Oh, hinge lock's on. That's how. There we go. That's what we want. Alright, what have we got on board this? So what I want to do, what I think I would want to do with this helicopter design is probably put some random blocks in here too. What have we got? We've got a decoy, got an exhaust pipe, got an automaton timer block, battery, cargo container. Yeah, like over time I reckon I could make a whole bunch of variants of this who, that have different blocks to be found in them. It's the perfect kind of build for that sort of thing, because it's just like the cargo trucks. Alright. Let's just break this glass, because that glass would not be intact next to that explosion. It looks weird if it is. Maybe, as I've done with all of them, break off some of the rotor blades. Thanks, Gilbert. Thanks for the prime sub. Ellie Camper. <laughs> Put another one of the... Make another one with a solar panel hanging off the side. Uh... Yeah, I'm happy with this. Okay, that's all the helicopters. I've just got to put the spawn things on them. Then I've got to um, add them to the mod. Uh, the blades are so small that I kind of... As much as I'm tempted to make them fall off, I'm also kind of like, does it add enough to have another subgrid bouncing around, or should I save, or should I be using that for things where I'm going to make a bigger impact with it, like with having the whole tail piece come off? I'm unsure. Certainly argue that either way. Did I? I didn't do anything with this one yet, did I? No. Yeah. Whoops. Should probably do something with that one. I'm trying to put the remotes and batteries that sometimes, because people keep playing this with um, easy takeover, start hostile takeover and the like, which breaks the deletions. 
That's a heads up for anybody. Um, don't don't play with hostile takeover and the scrapyard mod. They don't work together. The way I delete these gets messed up with um, any mod that changes ownership of things. Oh yeah, I was going to trash this one, wasn't I? That's what I was going to do. Let's grab that ammo box. Do do do. Pop it inside here. Pit two. Ooh, nice. Maybe one up here. I'm so glad that I <laughs> that this works. Ooh. Oh, speaking of breaking bits off. Yes. Uh, now, I need to grab my remote and thing again. And then we can stick that leg back on. that because it's going to get in the way of pasting the thing. Explode the side of the tank where you blow off that leg. Ooh, interesting idea. Let's put that over there. Did I copy that back? Is that the... I think I did. Oh yeah, it's the mangled tail. Um... might work as an exploded side of the tank, although I did just blast through both sides then. Whoops. That's <laughs> fine. It'll be fine. Oh. Alright, fine. We'll put this sideways. And just because it's blasted off, let's get some dents going. Get some dents going down the tail. And for this one... Bonk. Bonk. Performance in my build world is already a bit dubious, so I need to get rid of a few of these things when I can. Okay. Cool. I think that's... I think that gets us covered for the helicopters. The other thing I was tempted to do was this. And now you know to look at every single helicopter and make sure it has a hide if whether it has a hydrogen thruster. Because it's possible it could.
Uh, yes, Glitch, I definitely disabled trash cleanup. It is not a thing you want on a build world when you're building scrap that has no power. That would be bad. Uh, cool. Alright, name these suckers and export them. Uh, have you got a remote on you? Uh, you do not. I need a remote. Do, 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 do. NPC dash SY. What the? What? No! Why? Huh? What did I just do wrong there? Why, as soon as I press control, does this delete? time. Huh? Why can't I copy that? I can normally copy these just... No, the... Something's really weird there. That's not right. Um, I might actually restart Space Engines. That shouldn't be happening. What is going on? I can't... Can I copy other stuff? Yes. Why is it not working on the info screen? As soon as I... Something strange is going on there. Something very, very strange. Yeah, I so I recently replaced my keyboard with exactly the keyboard I had before the one. So I've had this exact keyboard layout before and this exact keyboard before, but um, I'd replaced it when my spacebar had started to get really, really noisy on the previous, vo previous one of these. Uh, it's one of the Microsoft Natural ones. So I have been hitting the wrong key, but I was looking at myself hitting the control key there, and it was just instantly deselecting what I'd selected. It's very odd. And the fact that it was only happening on the grid info window is extra strange. That it wasn't happening on the any of the other screens. Let's see. Oh, now it's working. Well, I'm glad it's fixed. Whatever it is. Oh, let's check something. Oh, we got rocket sounds back. Ah, <laughs> oh, good. No, Shadow, I can't give you a warning. I've got to make sure that you startle awake every time I shoot something randomly. It's almost like a policy at this point. <laughs> uh, so we'll call this 01. Well, this one 02. 
fact, I might shorten the names a bit. Is they getting a bit long? Okay, and three. And now I gotta do that with all of these. Make sure I name them consistently. The bug with. The bug that you've been having with the 3x3 three three wheels locking up randomly, maybe setting strength to absurd levels unlocks them. Interesting. Um, I'll have to try and remember that if I get myself stuck again, which I probably will, because... So... Something that I think has been forgotten partially by myself as well was that my... my test series that I've been doing in the scrapyard is a test series. Which is to say, I've always been planning on doing more than just that one. I've always been planning on doing another proper series later, which means I will have to deal with that rover again at the start. Uh, so it probably is good to know... <laughs> Uh, how to get unstuck. I haven't decided exactly how I want to do the more um, serious series version of it, but it is something I want to do. I hope you spawn on top of a mountain. Wow, full. <laughs> that sounded um, like you're a little upset with having not had that happen to you before. <laughs> Yeah, the start rover is so unstable. That's kind of the idea. I've had so many people being like, this start rover is so bad. Why don't you fix this, this, this? And I'm like, that's your job. You're supposed to fix it. It was kind of nice uh, having some vindication on that, talking to Aragath. Uh, for those who are unaware, Aragath designed the survival start pod for space engineers, like the one that is the vanilla one. Um, and talking to him about how he had to design something that was good enough but bad enough. And it, it's, it was nice to have someone else in a similar situation and um, <laughs> also aware of the whole, yeah, you got to make sure that it's bad enough. Um, so, next thing to do was try and do a bit of the, uh, bit of an industrial area. Uh, Quincy, Icarus doesn't usually post to my channel until later today on YouTube. The VOD doesn't usually go up because there are other things that happened before it. Last week was a bit weird, but, um, next week should be back to normal. So, for an industrial area, that's going to be this building. It's going to be one of them. Let's go past the cranes and build it on that side. That one... This one. So my idea is to make something that's a cluster of random structures like the um, like the office buildings and cranes are. Oop. 
Because I just like the idea of being able to find more stuff. <laughs> the nice thing for you guys playing this scenario is... You know what? I'm going to get bored with the stuff that I find. And I'm going to want more stuff. So I'll just make more stuff. Oh, poop. Oh, that's okay. I was going to fix that. Anyway. I was going to do it differently. I do want to do something with this gas station, but I need to do a bit more with it because it's got a small grid conversion in the old style, so I'll have to replace that and everything, so I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, where was the other bit? There was something else I wanted from here. Oh, this. I want this. Yes, my contrain... My contrain? My... Crane tutorial does include the park script. Speaking of tutorials, that's on my list to do today is <laughs> to my like seventh or eighth recording of a tutorial on how to make a fully automated fighter support drone. Because I've got a fighter support drone that works, I just keep messing up the recordings and so I have to do yet another recording of it to make it work it's still not being quite right uh, yeah and there's another special video, video coming out that I recorded with Black Shadow which is a sponsored video the first I've ever done um, you guys know I've done some sponsored streams but I've never done a sponsored video before um, and that should be, um, that should be coming out later this week too. Or over the weekend? It depends. Um, there's a bit of back and forth with that sort of stuff. They said they were happy with my video though. I've just got to, um, come up with a good title for it now. And then we're good to roll. Okay. So. It's not Redfall, no. Blocks are in this. What blocks did Fall put in this? Weapon rack. Table. I really liked, when I first saw this, oh, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. I see what you're doing here. There we go. <laughs> I need to make, this scrap pile was a really cool idea of just random junk. That could fit in with a lot of the different designs around here. So for those not aware, the Full 76 has also come up with um, his own Scrapyard mod pack, uh, which is considerably more generous than mine. <laughs> uh, he's also got a yeah seaside scavenger, which is something... I kind of want to add to this, to be honest. I want to add C... Like, I think water mod... The water mod and, and salvaging does sound like a really cool combo. Uh, I think I still want to do space first. But yeah, I, 
I think I think I've finally understood a reason for me to want to play with the water mod and a way that to me makes it feel like it's adding some real extra engineering on top. Which, I'll be honest, really excited about the idea of uh, having a good reason to play with it. There you go, that's a bit more scrap. To grind this off, or at least down. Silly access panels. Now, what are the blocks in here? We've got a air vent. Oh, a large O2H2 gen. Mm. Goodbye. <laughs> We're not having that. No, no, no. Ah, uh, actually, yeah, maybe. We can have one. I just don't want any thrusters. No large grid thrusters on planet. Because I want a reason, something that actually drives you to go to space and gives you something good from space. Uh, the survival kit's fine because we don't have any survival kits anywhere. Need to check what's in here. Uh, how am I gonna do this? This will do. We got O2H2 gen and survival kit, and then, yep, cool. That works. Uh, yeah, Swaffy, I. If people want to add stuff like a, um, binocular mod thing to their own like to the scenario for themselves they can do that it's not not really something that I think I would do but I'm not against like the whole idea of these scenarios once you publish them on the workshop people can add and remove whatever they want from it you don't have to stick to what I've done you can do your own variations on everything you can change up whatever you like And I imagine people who don't own the DLC for the Searchlight will probably want something like that. But if you got the Searchlight, I think... I kind of... For me, that's more fun. Okay. Um... Okay. I think what I might do is just just go with these pieces and we can add more of the more stuff to this part later on. Rather than fiddling around with this too much right now. You do not want the mod to drop planes from the sky. That would be bad. There's a reason that would be bad, which is if you drop planes from the sky, you're going to have massive performance issues from them crashing into the ground. Yeah, there are a lot of things like that that um, sound good in theory, but in practice... Why aren't you letting me place that there? But in practice, just um, aren't really a thing we that you can do. Oh. Hello? Oh, whatever, you can go there.
and it's and for me it's all it's a little bit of the trying to make sure that it's something that people even with lower end hardware can play although the scrapyard scenario is a bit tricky on that front because it does require a lot of grids to be around the place uh, which is not great for performance anyway what have we got in these shelves? You know what? Um, how would I do this? I don't think I can do this in creative. Thirteen. Well, that's a bit generous. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we won't do that. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Blobby Gun. <laughs> thanks, Blobby, gonna get you. Thanks for the thousand bits. Having, uh, not having grown up with the idea of what Blobby is, that, that that's a horrific thing from. A lot of people's childhoods, I imagine, in the UK. Alright. What are these named? PC-SY Workshop. The one... Blobby is like this pink, sort of cuddly looking, but not really, character from like the 80s? Yeah, Mr. Blobby. See you, Mr. Shinogami. <laughs> yeah, googling it may have been a mistake. <laughs> That's why industrial tower I want. Let's cut this out of the ground so I can actually get to its control panel. Yeah, there, there were some horrific things shown to, like, that were considered... Oh, it's actually been... That's been the case throughout history, hasn't it? Like, you look at any sort of, um, nursery rhyme, there are some really dark themes that are quite pervasive in that area of, uh, kids. Like, stuff that's ostensibly for children is pretty dark by today's standards. And you, you don't have to go back too far for it to get to that level where you're like, ooh... Oh. That does not match up to today's sensibilities. <laughs> and yet, didn't really bother kids. <laughs> Which makes me wonder, is it so much about it being disturbing for kids, or is it disturbing for adults? And so we assume it's disturbing for kids, but kids don't really think that part of it through. So I reckon I didn't think a lot of that stuff through as a kid. Uh, for those wondering as well, I have updated the MES config script mod. Uh, it should now work properly. Uh, scrapyard. And let's grab VS Code so we can get this working.
Okay, so we need a new structures folder, a file thing. Rename this one to industrial. Yeah, I'll just call it industrial. I think that'll work. So all I've got to do now is bring in those helicopters, bring in these um, sheds and things. And once they're in, I can spawn them in, make sure that they spawn at the correct height. And then we can go on and play the survival again. Wow, I've got to start up the server. <laughs> Thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. Blobby gonna get you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, do, 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 do. What am I doing? Export. That's what I was getting. Delete that. Why have I got a whole bunch of exported hangers? Was I replacing my hangers? What's the date on my hanger for? Oh, wait a sec. Um, hmm. Check something. What's the date on these? 16th to the 3rd. That's 22nd to the 4th. I've done something to my hangers and I don't remember what. Oh, I know what I've done with the hangers. Uh, yeah. I added... Uh... I added things. Thanks, Kitsu. <laughs> Thank you for one, two, three, four bits. <laughs> um, so, as as was shown off in our Discord, um, it was kind of a cool idea to add little doors to the hangers. So I've gone through and I've modified the hangers to include little doors on and frontages on them in various states of disrepair. Uh, which I think, I think looks nice. I think it works. Hopefully, I don't need to... I will check whether, they have, whether they're whether they spawning in the right positions as well. New folder industrial... And... Export. So the indust... Oh, should delete those. Industrial's that, 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 that that then into oh might rename planes to aircraft there we go and then I need VS code No, the, the Discord is not just a Patreon thing, it's an everyone thing. There are supporter-only areas, um, but in... Yeah, the Discord is definitely not just a supporter thing. Um... Thank you for the sub as well, Blobby. Thank you very much. And for the uh, horrific imagery that's now uh, embedded in people's minds. <laughs> we looked it up. Uh, okay. No. Basic production hall. Let's start these at zero, and I'm going to just make a spawn group for all of these. Thanks, Everman. Thank you for the gift sub. Two. 
Now we need to make this an industrial tower. And now you're realizing why I don't do so much of this stuff on stream anymore. And I just changed frequency to zero, not offset to zero, because I'm a dope. When I was meaning to fix the Y offset to zero. Again. Okay, industrial tower one, that's correct. Uh, small junk pile. Uh, I'm not going to add the small junk, the, the office stuff to this, but I'll be adding the junk piles to the office spawns, I think, at a later stage. I just want to, I want to try and get the bare minimum done right now. And then next week I'll come in and I'll do some more finessing of it. But I'd just like to get these in so we can start playing. Okay, that's the industrial stuff set up and ready to go. Now we need to go to planes and rename that to aircraft and now we go that start going through all of our aircraft we added Uh, we've got three of these. Uh, o3. O2. Two. Uh, rusty bird. Got a few more of these to do. And then, we, then I've got to do the other bits. So once I've added these as potential spawn groups i've then got to make sure that they're in the spawners so they actually can get created and then i've got to make a new spawner for that industrial setup because that's a completely new one and make sure that it's included in the options Aerodynamics mod makes the tower crane spin lightly in the wind. That's kind of cool. And it'll only be certain ones of them as well. It won't be all of them. Because it should only do it to the ones with the small grids in the end. Unless... Oh, uh, actually, would drag create the force? I don't know. But yeah, the, I I honestly think that even just the basic the basic old school plane parts mod would be perfectly compatible with um, the scrapyard style of play. It almost to the extent that I'm tempted to make it compatible by removing any of the thrusters from it, so hiding any of the thruster blocks. Because I think being able to build a scout plane early on is kind of cool and fits because you still need to then... Then you can scout stuff, but you're not going to be able to pick it up. So, like, I feel, I feel like that would work quite well. Uh, okay, so that's those added there. Now I need to go to my spawners. I need to find the plane one. Plane core spawner, here we go. I need to add the helicopters here.
Oops, the Barrio one. O two, O three, then we've also got the rusty bird, then the rusty whoops. Three rusty berries, two rusty birds, two rusty nooks, and two rusty cranes. Does anyone know if Park works? Um, I don't know what an EOS server is. Um, but that's gonna like if you own the server, like you should be able to activate the scripts on it. I would have thought. Misty Crane. Okay. So many steps. So that's all those bits done. Now I need to make... So now that... Now the helicopters are integrated. The next thing to do is... Um... Get the... A new spawner for the industrial stuff. Okay. So our industrial. Basic production hall. Well, if it's a... So when people are talking about client side or server side scripts, they're talking about mods with scripting in them. They're not talking about scripts in a programmable block. Because scripts in a programmable block always run server side on cross-play enabled servers. As far as I understand it, I don't think there's any way they can't. Is there? But all programmable block scripts should behave the same way. Like, there's there's no stuff there that's... But you can't run it... Like, you can't use any programmable block scripts on a local save. Uh, Alright, so for this, I definitely need the minimum distance and maximum distance to be bigger. I probably want to make this more like... Also, I need to rename that to industrial. Uh, need to make this more like the office building spawner. Which I cannot remember what I called it. And is clearly not further up. Ah, here we go. Minimum distance 25, maximum 100. All right, that seems like a decent option. Oh, uh, yeah, I imagine the scripts need to be on mod.io to work as well. And if Trekker hasn't posted it to mod.io, then I don't know what you can do. Because you're not allowed to repost people's stuff. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Um, okay, that's done. Next, I need to make sure I add that to the behaviors. No, 
Triggers? Triggers. So I need an action. Spawn industrial. And then we can copy. Highway. Oh, if I make more highway sections, I can make a bigger highway spawn. So something that can spawn multiple sections within a reasonable radius of each other. Kind of like the power lines work. So I think for the industrial buildings, I probably want to have like five things near each other. And I might put some dumpsters in the area. And a rare civilian vehicle. And yeah, that'll do. I think I've done what I need to do. Now I can test this thing. Uh, I've deliberately not been doing underground stuff because I wanted to make this a minimal voxel edit sort of scenario. Because of the other performance issues of the scrapyard, if for the sake of running it on a server, I can make it so that you can reset voxels with uh, high frequency, then uh, it at least knocks out one big performance issue of uh, operating a server. Yeah, I was in the, the power line spawner. In fact, I might fix that right now. The power line spawner is supposed to now have... Yeah, it'll occasionally have a vehicle in it. In fact, let's... <laughs> let's add a plane. Uh... Spawn. Spawn planes. Spawn hangar, spawn highway, spawn industrial, spawn office, spawn pipeline, spawn planes. Okay. Yeah, I haven't managed to make power substations that I liked yet but I, it's something I still want to do. Maybe with the stuff that we got in the last DLC, there'll be more options that I'm happy with. Okay, spawn... Conditions? Yes. So I need to change this to false. I need to change this to true. I need to change this to false. I need to change this to true. Then we can do some quick testing of all these spawns. Make sure they're all good. Um, what game? Uh, Zerkus, if you're playing with uh, Pav's bunkers mod, they're supposed to be underground. I mean, the tops of them aren't. But the bottoms of them are meant to be completely underground. That's that's all intended behavior. Hey Zoriel. Uh, one of the one of the things I've realized um is kinda kinda good. Having realized that I could just change my spawn conditions so I can spawn in everything, a lot of you may have noticed when I first went live with the mod, a few things were floating, a few things were underground. Um, it was because the way I'd been testing the heights of these spawns was very, very slow. Uh, but I've since discovered a much better way of doing it. 
uh, which is this. Once I change the conditions and make everything just a basic uh, planetary installation, I can then spawn it in manually, specifically. Oh, I should probably delete everything before I do that. Uh, and then check it. I can check each one one by one without having to go to the effort of waiting for it to randomly show up, which is what I had been doing on my previous tests. It's so like this one. I reckon that needs to be maybe another... Doesn't need to be too much higher. Can maybe do a meter. So then I can just go to my... Uh, where is it? Structures industrial. Find my workshop. And lift it by a meter. Then we can do the next bit. Let's grab... Small junk pile O2. And O1. How about these junk piles? <laughs> A little bit floaty. <laughs> Little bit floaty. Uh, probably three meters lower, I think, for this. What about the other one? Yeah, I know there's a very long command to spawn prefabs as though it's a planetary installation, but it's a very long command and it is honestly easier to do things this way. So the junk piles probably need to drop by about three meters. Thanks, Kate Fecker. Thank you for six months. Uh, what are the other things I need to spawn in? I need to spawn in the industrial tower and then the two production halls. Yay, industrial tower. You're also probably about three meters too high. And production hall. What about you? Oh, I didn't do all the details for the production hall. I'm going to have to fix them. Um, that probably needs to drop by about... Let's drop it by, say... Minus 0.8. What's the other one? Imagine they're both the same. Nope, this one's much deeper in the ground. So it could probably be lifted. Okay. So with that done, I can then reload and spawn all those things in again, check that they're at the right height, and at least then we know the industrial bit is all going to spawn in correctly, rather than being half underground, half floating, whatever else. And hey, Woolly Mammoth, yeah, imagine uh, the time that I tend to be live is somewhat difficult for East Coast slash um, Far South Island Australians. Tower, small junk pile. Workshop. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay, so production hall. How do you look now? Yeah, that's about right for having it underground. I'll obviously need to add the detail back in of the cap that had fallen off because I really liked that little detail. Um, production hall 2. That looks good. Industrial tower. 
Still needs to go about another meter lower. Junk pile. Ah, uh, similarly, it probably needs to go close to another meter lower too. Thanks, Shaggy. Thanks for the prime sub. Yeah, so the time that I start streaming is 6 a.m. local. Uh, so before sunrise at the moment. All right, need to adjust these. So my junk piles need to drop by nearly a meter. Let's go minus 3.8. My workshop could go a little bit higher, so let's go 1.5. And I already adjusted the industrial tower and I was happy with the production halls. Cool. And we reload again. So the reason the reason I like streaming from so early in the morning is one it's nice to be able to catch eurozone before it's too late for them um but i also um i also find that it works well for me doing stuff in the early in the morning just works for me I'm all, I've always been a morning person, so starting early, finishing early is kind of my ideal. Because it allows me to do stuff afterwards. Like, if I start at this early in the morning and then I, you know, wrap up before even lunchtime... I then feel like I've still got enough of my day left to do editing on it. I know it's already too late for you guys, but at least the start isn't too bad. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Okay, industrial tower. Uh, I think... Oh, it's still not low enough. It's still hovering. What about the junk piles? I think the junk piles are about right. It's really hard to tell on Graciera, although I think they are also a tiny bit too high too. What about the workshop? Am I happy with the workshop now? No, workshop needs to go a bit higher still too. Or does it? Am I okay with the grass going in? Industrial hmm. Town needs to drop another. Let's go almost a meter. You guys can go down to minus 4.2. Why not? And the workshop can go up. By a little bit more. Oops. Wrong thing. Test again, and I think I'll be right this time. The land is never flat, Edric. So I judge this off each spawn and just keep adjusting them until they seem right. But the land is never going to be flat, and that's why I can't build things like trains easily. Yeah, the only flatted spot is on a lake. But even lakes aren't actually flat because they follow the curvature of the planet, which is relatively easy to become, like, becomes apparent over relatively short distances because the planets aren't that big. By planet scales, at least. Industrial Tower, please be in the ground enough this time, would you? Yes, that feels better. Okay. Junk pile. 
How about you? Are you in the ground a bit? You are. Good. Pile two. You are as well. And workshop. Yay! The workshop's at a good height. Okay. I'm happy. Now, test the aircraft, and we're good. The aircraft should be more reliable. Basically, for the aircraft, as long as they spawn above the ground entirely, and they don't spawn like 15 meters up in the air, there's no problems. Critical. Yeah, I, except for elevated rail, I cannot think of a way to make rail to work at all. Basically, elevated is the only way we can do it. Um, all right. These ones kind of need to jump too quickly. Oh, wait, no, they should respond to static grids. Uh, that might be a little bit to the high side. That kind of worked. Didn't take any damage, which is nice. Okay, that's all right. Let's check out the others. I can drop these by a bit, but I don't need to drop them too much, which is nice. Rusty bird. Yes, the chain gantry crane is still alive. Um, I just wanted to have more things to find, so I wanted to add them first. Today. Because I was going to do lots of exploration, and I wanted to delete all my existing finds and come up with new ones. Oh, let's get the crane... That is above ground, and that is a good height. Bird is above ground, and that's at a really good height. You're in the ground. Oh no, you're on the ground. That's okay. So that's the one with the tail that broke off. So that seems to be fine. The crane is maybe a bit too high. And then... Did I not do a Crano too? Nope. That's a good height. So, the only ones that I think I want to change are maybe the Rusty Crane 01 is a bit high. Maybe a bit, a bit too high. <laughs> All right. Aircraft. Where are you? Actually, you know what? I think they're fine. I'll just leave them. If I find, if I come across them and they're badly damaged, then oh well. Uh, Alright, so now we need to change these spawn conditions back so that these become ri rival AI spawns and not planetary installations. Uh, so these won't be floating when you find them in-game. The reason being, when I spawn them as planetary installations, MES forces them to be static grids. When I spawn them as rival AI spawns, which is how I normally do it, they are not forced as static grids. So they will drop immediately.
So submerged things as rails doesn't work. The reason it doesn't work is because it's not going to be submerged to the same depth because the ground isn't flat. So in one of the submissions that I got was a train station, which in the photo of it looks great because they've perfectly put the um, girder blocks with just the two bits sticking out. Trouble is, as soon as I spawn that using MES, it's never going to be that right. It's always going to be part of it with more of it sticking out and it's going to be uneven and it's it, it's one of the problems with big things like roads and rail uh, with the way that we have to be able to spawn things um, it's just the reality the only way I can think of to do it where we could have train stations, mines and all these sorts of things is if we had a way to do voxel edits where we both subtract and add voxels in the process of placing these things because then you could do cutaways and had, have little piles of spill that allow you to have transitions up to your static grids but oh, the the time it would take to do that and you'd have to make sure that it's only going to spawn on specific voxel types because you're going to be pasting in additional voxels it's going to create massive voxel edits and it's going to be so bad so I think elevated trains is just the way to go um, alright, let's make sure I haven't broken things before I put this to go live on my server. Uh, we'll wait for those to actually spawn some things. Oh, we got a rusty berry. There we go. Random little helicopter to find out in the wilds. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, I'll leave. I'll leave the port things. I, I just, it annoys me that they're not rusty, but oh well. All right, what do we got? We've got some Antonio Vanderas's, some billboards, danger zone, dumpster, feed troughs, fences. Always the fences. High tension power lines, highways, trucks, office, outhouse. Some small grid stuff in some sheds. Cool. Alright, it looks like it's all working. Now I just need to quickly check something. I think I've got this version, this up... I think I've got this set to my alternate mod at the moment uh, yes I do okay cool uh, so what I need to do what Nev told me to do yesterday What did he tell me to do? That was a command. Oh. Yeah, the command didn't work. <laughs> um. Save changes. No. Uh, yeah, Nev, the command didn't work. <laughs> At the moment, I'm running a test server just to see how quickly the game breaks with the scrapyard. Um, to see if something like Valheim is possible, but I'm trying to stop that server and the command that Nev told me to do isn't working. Um, currently, Nev, Vox, and Eisen are the only people on online, so I might just have to ask Nev to shut it down for me. Because I can't run... I don't think my server can run two instances of Space Engineers. I 
I'm aware, Edric. I've deliberately not added the new stuff to the public mod. That is 100% intentional. Um, Scrapyard test. Edit settings. Mods. Uh, which is Scrapyard. Publish. Yes. Oh, you were telling people... Right. Sorry, Edric. Misunderstood. <laughs> nope. Don't need to see it. Because that one's not public. Or at least I think I updated the non-public one. Okay. Now, start my server. Um, there, so Dells, there are, there are ways within MES you can delete voxels. Um, so you wouldn't need to do anything like spawning in a drill to activate it to then have that be your way of control removing voxels. Uh, but the ways that are available are not clean enough and wouldn't work to allow you to place roads or rail because you'd still end up with janky stuff at the sides of it. And it'd only work if you are embedding it and then you would end up with kind of a dead end at the end. I guess you could do it to be like a collapsed tunnel, but then again, you'd need to be making sure you spawn on uneven enough ground that it gets fully underground for that tunnel to make sense. Um, in reality, what happens is you end up in a situation trying to do this stuff where it's it's too... Um, there are too many factors that need to be controlled for it to be feasible, sadly. Uh, no, Codon, I have not used a version thing for my mods. Beyond copy-paste the thing and back it up that way. No, I have not. Oh! Typoed. Of course I did. Of course I did. All right, let's edit my stream info a bit. What am I doing? Hunting for scrap. Yeah. So what I got to do first, as soon as I spawn in, is delete all of the available, delete all the things around me. Because there's going to be a whole bunch of stuff that was spawned previously, but I want to get rid of all the old spawns and give a chance for some of the new stuff to spawn in. Uh, oh. Uh, I should probably go home first. I forgot I was still out in the middle of the desert. Uh, did I cut the thing out? There was nothing that I wanted to cut out of these. Oh, the batteries. Oh, well, I'm going to lose the batteries. C'est la vie. I've got one here. That'll do. Homeward bound. Uh, yes, I will also clean up my GPS list. <laughs> Definitely, Shadow. Oh, 
Something spawns, but I'm going to delete it. What a pity. It's got 15 k's to travel. So basically I'm going to go home and then I'm going to delete everything that's far away from me. Uh, except maybe the assert bases. I've still been leaving those just as a thing that I have to avoid. Ah, thanks, Nev. Thank you for the updated command so I know how to do it next time. <laughs> that is very helpful. Getting a bit of uh, rotational force from this battery. That's awkward. Yes, Triton is easy mode. Earth-like is intermediate. Uh, and Pertum is harder. For this mod set. Which I'm perfectly okay with. If people want to play easy, they can play easy. They can play on Triton. Triton has a lot of advantages for this... For making styles of play like this easy um, because it's so flat there's so many ice lakes there's just nothing to block you seeing where everything is so you'll find stuff super quickly uh, it's just super easy but yeah this this is hard in a different way to other things that I've done that are hard. It's hard. It's meant to be more about the engineering. Ring. Oh, is the ice lake on Triton actually continuous? I didn't realize it was continuous on the whole thing. I knew it was huge. Which is weird, because it doesn't seem huge for the little section that they chose for the scenario. The section they chose for the scenario is all mountains and stuff. There's no evidence of, I of flat areas anywhere to be seen. I thought the whole planet was going to be like that. And the first time I actually looked at it properly, I was like, Oh. Oh. This isn't like what I had imagined at all. I thought it was going to be like the mountainous, snowy areas on Earth-like. Just over the whole planet. Boy, was I wrong. Okie dokie. We are landed, which means I can now do the delete. Alt of 10. Grid sort by distance from players. Wow, 67... Hmm. I'm feeling there are a few things in the middle of the planet. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh no. My crane's still here. That's okay. <laughs> Just thought for a second. Is my crane in the middle of the planet? Twenty-nine. Let's cut these out. Feels bad, man, deleting some of these. What's the chance I'm going to come across a crane that I don't want to delete? Oh, that's a smash. I am deliberately clicking on each of these just out of curiosity to see if any of these have gone horribly wrong. Oh no! 
Look what's there! Look what's there! <laughs> oh. Now we're down to 10 k's away. Keep going. Might just remove that and we'll start this from the top again. I think there's been a few things that have exploded. close can I get? That's the other question. Oh, I don't... Oh, hang on. Um, I think I've probably, at this point, accidentally deleted one of the assert bases. Get rid of all the things. 7Ks. I'm not seeing the assert base. How close are they to me? I can't remember. I also don't know why some of these are out in the open. They should be inside a shed. Where'd the shed go? to the shed. Very odd. See ya, Freyogs. Um, do, 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 Where on? Hmm. I won't worry about that until I see one in person, because I've been deleting stuff, so maybe I deleted something that was over the top of it. Maybe something else is going on weird with what I'm doing. This is a lot of grids. No one. <laughs> Jeez. There are so many things around here. Oh, boy. That dummy grid that didn't get deleted. Looks like it took damage from something. There was a chunk of voxel missing. Oh, and that scav... Why is that scav kept its stuff? Hmm. Oh, there's the watch base. Keep that. Almost down to right up against the base. This is going to help me get heaps more spawns. I wish I'd done this off stream, but I completely forgot that I wanted to do it. Yeah, it's a lot of spawns, but it's a lot of uh, exploded damaged bits. Oh. Okay. I have definitely accidentally destroyed, deleted one of the uh, assertive bases, but at least I kept one of them. There we go. Now I can delete all my GPSs. And there's a new wreck to find. Oops, why did I go jetpack? And I've already lost track of where it was. I think it was over this way. Ish.
Yes, so the new spawns begin. Uh, the assert bases will not respawn because I don't have assert active. I possibly could activate it once I've found a basic assembler so I can make, I can transmute my ammunition. Uh, I think I missed this earlier. Thanks, Master Tux, for the prime sum. Have we got anything this way? Oh, we do. We have some power lines, and it looks like there's something else with it. It looks like it could be a Chinook. Yeah, now, if I do want to do it more often, I probably should do more normal cleanup. Okay. So this is something that I've changed with the power lines. So now they will occasionally spawn with an aircraft nearby or a um, ground vehicle. So let's see what what this one is. There's this one. Wait, did any of these end up with the thruster? I don't think they did. Get the cargo container. The steel plate. What about up here? Another cargo container. Oops. With a motor inside. And we got a button. I'll take the computers. Don't really care about the small battery. Uh, I do want this event controller though. Do 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 do. Because <laughs> I don't have any event controllers. Uh, do I have enough stuff to make a couple of merge blocks? Because that would be handy. A couple of merges on here. Please don't tell me creative mode is on. Nope. Event controller saved. Anything else? Uh, Scrapyard does not use any sort of threat score or anything, because at this stage there's no reason for it to. Uh, anything in the doors that I want? Oh, there's some motors. We were needing motors. Inventory full. Oh. Oh no! I didn't empty out the inventory when I went home. Ugh. Uh, that's annoying. I will fly home immediately after this. What are the plans for space? The plans for space is for space to have all of the big, all the large grid stuff that you're looking for. Um, custom turret controller. Yeah, let's grab that. I want space to have all the large grid stuff. So you've... On on planet, you kind of build a little bit of a static base, and then you build a mobile thing, and that's what takes you to space. And then in space, you can collect all the other stuff, and then that's where... Sp that's why space can be a bit more hostile. Because you're getting better stuff. What? 
Uh, busted up stuff. I definitely want to put busted up stuff in space. That's my idea anyway. Because I don't want it to just be all combat, because otherwise how are you going to actually fight when you first arrive? But more chance of you running into something that might attack you. A higher chance that you'll actually need to run away from the thing and figure out how to approach it better. Weird. Sometimes the rotation controls don't quite align with the block rotation controls. With this. There we go. Alright, fly home. Let's get out of here. Uh, slash GPS chopper. Ah! <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. <laughs> that was so dumb. Uh, can I pick up this whole thing or is it too heavy? Oh, almost pick up the whole thing. Alright, I'll do it piecemeal. Oh man, that was that was a special level of dumb. Oh boy. What was I thinking? It was all because I was trying to add the extra bit. to just make two more of these. Yes. Pick it up. Press right click to grab the center of mass. Press left click to hold it in place. And then try and figure out which way is actually going to rotate which way. Nope. That's the way I want. There we are. Alright, now we can fly. Uh, true, at least it wasn't one of the blocks that I actually wanted that was in the way of it. And because they're so light, when they fell, they didn't actually take any damage. So. I got a bit... I got lucky to get away with that one. Alright, so we're going to head off that way after I offload this connector. Well, that one's even within line of sight of the base. What is that? I can't even tell what... That is at a distance. I think it might be a water tower. Oh, and then there's something else up over that hill. Oh, geez, there's stuff just everywhere. Coming in now. Uh, is it... I don't believe it's possible to turn down the magnetic strength of merge blocks, no. I think that just is what it is. Might be something you could do as a mod, but it's not something that's controllable in any way that I'm aware of. Uh, inventory. Especially those power cells. I forgot I left that hole there. Connectors, you can mess with the magnetic strength. Merge blocks, not so much.
Why do I have a hole there? Because the solar panel gets in the way of, what, of when I was replacing the floor blocks. So I couldn't place them. So until I deal with the solar panel, I've got a hole in the floor. Uh, Alright. Let's go explore again. Because we've got something over here and then something on the other side of that hill already. I do believe that's a water tower. Which might have a shed next to it, by the looks of things. With one by one connectors, why merge block? Um, because I'm flying. And it means I don't run into any issues with um, the oddities of subgrids and flying. Which are better than they used to be, but despite my excitement on a previous patch, are still not fixed. No, that is the wrong way to that shed. Oh no, it's around this side. Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! Ah, <laughs> victory is mine. I have another hydrogen thruster. <laughs> I'm gonna get that panel. It's like one pixel gets it. Wait, wait, bleep, bleep. Uh oh. Um. Oh, I've done strange things. I was trying to get a third person view of this. Hang on a sec. We're gonna. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, entity list, characters, splitsy. F9. <laughs> um. There we go. That was a thing. Okay, definitely attaching this thing. Uh, do I have enough parts to attach it or I'm going to have to lift it up with my landing gear? It's my new belt. I think I'm going to have to attach it with my landing gear. Honestly, that's, that's good enough reward that I probably just want to take that straight home. And... Delete it. And delete it. And turn off creative mode. So... One of the reasons I haven't published the edits that I've done to the mod at this stage is that I'm not sure whether I'm going to find tons of these thrusters and totally uh, diminish the challenge. I think they're still pretty rare. Like, there's only one or two of those sheds that has these thrusters in them, and there are something like 15 sheds. So it should still be pretty rare. Yeah, Nev. Uh, that was something we sort of brought up in the last stream of this, which was, is it such a bad thing to have all these large Atmo thrusters? And the general consensus, in my opinion, became no. Because they're hard to do anything with. Like, finding a large thruster early on doesn't really help you.
Ironically, it's the little ones you want to find. Oh, you didn't keep it. No parts, no crane, no space to do anything. That's even more evil. Yeah, if you find something... Like, if you find a large hydro thruster as your very first thing, and you have no way of keeping it, and Nev's playing on a server that's cleaning up stuff, so... If you can't take it at that moment, you can't keep it otherwise. I would totally have scrapped parts of my rover to try and grab that and take it with me, though. I think. Alright, is there anything in this? I think there's a... Some sort of cargo upstairs that I'll check out. Because I have messed with the loot. No! There we go. Uh, maybe there isn't any cargo upstairs. Ah, but... Oh. I was about to say, ah, but toilets have motors. Apparently my inventory is full, so I didn't get the motors. I need to ditch some things. Uh, those. And those. Bed motor? No motor in bed. Pull that in here. Anything in the toilet? Motors. Alright. I don't think I want to worry about the wind turbine. I know it's got motors in it. I just can't be bothered going up there to get it. So, I'm going to do the thing. And I'm going to keep cleaning things up this time. As I go around. Because that means more spawns without me having to travel massive distances. Which is not something I'm averse to. I kind of like the idea of having to travel a long way. That's the bad thing. Uh, that's a good thing. That's a turbine. Because there could be another little shed nearby. Or is it just going to be some fences? Could just be the fences. Alright, this one I'll chop down. With my flyer at a safe distance. <laughs> Timber! Eight motors. Maybe that would have been worth doing. Oh well. Oh, if I miss any of these fences, they're going to be evil if I have to drive something or drive around to come collect something. Yeah, fancy, 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 fancy. Yeah, I'm not going to keep grinding on the post and have it drop on me. I know that the turbines are wider than the rest of the pole, so that they'll actually crush me when they get down to the bottom. I know they're collision hitboxes. Uh, JRL. Yes, I did think of making a sound pack, but then I was like, am I ever going to use that sound pack? And I was like, no, I'm not. <laughs> Because I'd just find it annoying really quickly. I'd get tired of whatever I put in there really fast. So I decided not to. Uh, 
I didn't get to the thing that was on the other side over here, did I? Or did I? I'm losing track. The only way I'd do a mod like that would be if I made it so that it rarely had something in Capac's voice in it and then put it into assertive acquisitions to mess with Capac. Oh, turn around. Oh, there's another one over there. Excellent. Broken Suit Lady mod works well enough for scrapping. Yeah, that's true. The Broken Suit Lady mod that was made for Scavenger Hunt is a good option. Uh, I don't see the... Oh. No, that's a rock. Oh, I don't see the thing that was over here. Oh. Should have gone to the other one. My cousins. See the other one though, at least. So how's my power doing? Two hours. Let's wait. He's streaming in. Something's not happy. <laughs> What do we have over here? We've got something off to the right there, and we've got something there that's being picked up by the targeting. Okay, so we got... Oops, no, keep the dampeners on. What's in the shed? Oh! Warning, enemy detected. Um. Hello? Warning, enemy detected. <laughs> Is that gonna? There's a warhead there, and that has power. Warning, enemy detected. Gonna blow up now. <laughs> um, so. I made two versions of this. One does blow up. One doesn't. So I don't know which one's which. And they are identical other than the blowing up. <laughs> uh, Tomaton programmable block. Yeah, I'll take that with me. And do I care about these batteries? Not really. Got so many of them back at home. Uh, what's in the cargo? Odors, I'll take those. Uh, I can make timer blocks, right? Yeah. Doop -a -doo. Yeah, keep talking and nobody explodes. Ah, uh, but yeah, the... So I... I... There is a nasty thing, but it gives you the warning beeps. It gives you all the things to say, you should get out of this place. This place is not friendly to you. You want to make sure that you're safe before you do anything. So at least I was nice on that front. Of course, that niceness does work on the assumption that the sound blocks are functional, which in Space Engineers is quite a dubious assumption.
Uh, okay. Motors from the toilet. What's in here? Oh, which direction is that then? Okay, left of the tree. Good in here. Um, arguable. Motor in the toilet. Anything in the bed. Book of Tahan. Got some ice. Inventory some motors in the kitchen. Full. That's good. No. I'm already full. I think one of the first things I want to do with my with any upgrade to this miner. Uh to this carrier is Put a cargo on it. But I need to get another large another large thruster on it before I start putting cargo down, I think. Alright, let's delete beacon. Ooh. Do I want a beacon? Do I need a beacon? I don't think I need a beacon. Do I need a beacon? Nah. I don't need a beacon. I will take that though. Would take that, except I don't have a way to own it. I probably should be grinding down all these mag plates, but they're just a bit annoying to do that with. I have many large thrusters, I just need motors for them. Alright, uh, creative mode, delete the things. Indeed. I do wonder what happened to its second large thruster. It's almost like it evaporated. Someone left it out in the sun too long. It dried up. Which way does this want to rotate? That's the way. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to go over there. Don't the turret... What? The turbines have motors. So do the tur turrets, yeah. There are certain motors that it's like, yeah, I'll quickly grab these, and there are other ones where I'm like, oh, the work I would have to put in to get to these. There are conflicting priorities when you do things like this on a stream. What do we have here? Have you got anything in you? No. At least we got one of the new spawns. Uh, you have motors in you. You do not. You do not. Neither do the caps. Air junction. Oh! Huh. Um, well that was a mistake. Let me just check if that's in both of these. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, that needs to be fixed. Um, this is going to annoy some people. Oh, what the... Um, that was weird. Okay, that needs to be removed from that. I need to write this down somewhere. 
Do 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 do. Goodbye. Those are not supposed to be there. Also, that is not a great place for a dumpster to have wound up. <laughs> it is inside the building. Anything in it? The motors. Uh, yeah, so I don't want these grids to have basic assemblers in them, so I'm going to need to remove them from it. Inventory full. Two small H2 thrusters. No, I don't see any small H2 thrusters. It's two wheels. But some dumpsters do contain... Um, nice things, so it's worth looking in them. It is worth dumpster diving. And it looks like I'm full, so I'm going to delete this stuff and head on back to base. And I think one of the things I should do... Wait, what's underneath that? Oh, battery. All right, I gotta. These grids are gonna need a little bit of work done to them. They are not what I was after. Exactly. Oh. Oh. This is though. Now let's grab that power cell. Now I'm gonna grind these down and see if anything's in them. Nope, nothing popped out. So possibly going to reconnect to the server because this streaming in thing Inventory is full. odd. But yeah, that, this is why I test these things properly before putting them in the public version. Because I really don't... I don't... I don't want to mess with the public version until I'm... Um, yeah. Until I'm happy that things are the way that I want them to be. And that, <laughs> that bit was definitely not... Uh, I can't recall who built the those industrial buildings. But I deliberately, when I asked for submissions, did not set any sort of conditions on what people would do, because I was just curious what people would come up with. Some of it, straight up, does not suit the style that I was going for, so I was just like, yeah, unfortunately that's just not what I'm looking for. Um, and unlike the assertive cargo ship submissions, I'm not going to fix people's submissions to make them fit my style that I want. I'm just going to pick the ones that fairly quickly fit it so that I can pad out the numbers of grids that we can find most quickly. And also use stuff like um, the Fool's Little Scrap Piles are a great little thing that I, I would like to make a few variants of and have those spawn with lots of the other clusters of buildings because they're a they're a nice thing for just padding out what's there without needing to have anything too time consuming to build uh, I don't most of the I don't have most of the torch plugins on this server to be honest because it's just for me so I didn't worry about it uh, but I'm just going to reconnect. See if that fixes it. While I grab myself a drink. Because I am thirsty.
to type in my password. And the Austrian might be Ustens. Yeah, that might be right, Eisen. The basic assembler can only make specific things, but having... I do want to make them more than just available in that one crane uh, prefab, but I haven't decided where I want them to be found yet. Probably in the industrial one, uh, but I shouldn't be finding two of them in the same cluster. That's a bit much. That's a bit rich for my tastes. It's like dunking a piece of mud cake in lard and going, yep, that's perfect. <laughs> Just a bit too much for me. Let's go drop all my inventory. Oh, that hole! Oh, I've really got to move that. Ah, uh, you already got rid of the hidden hydrogen thruster. That's already gone. Uh, from the thing. But I, I missed the assembler. I like the building. And I like the design though. So I'll be... I'm keeping them. I just want to... I just want to get rid of the basic assembler from it. For the moment. Until I decide how I want to handle that. See you, Charity. Oh... Is this, why am I still getting the streaming thing? I'll try it. I might have the command. Could be that the server's just not super happy with the number of things I've got lying around here now. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, <laughs> okay, have I got enough to fix this Atmo thruster? I think I do. Might even have enough to fix two of them. There's one fixed. Let's see about this one. Yeah, I think I'm 35 motors short. Yep. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Got one more thruster built. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hunt around for some more stuff, look to see whether I can get the four thrusters built, and then completely redesign this lifter, because we've got more batteries, and then we'll have more thrusters, and I can even start thinking about what I'm going to do with the hydrogen thrusters if I find more than just two. I think to get to space, I want to have six, just that's my threshold. Once I've got six, I'm gonna get to. I'm gonna try and go to space. Oh, I should drop those things off the side. Don't need to bring these with me. Let's go scouting. Actually, that's. It's a fair point. I probably could take the truck out to scout instead of just flying, because. Um, stuff is close by again because of the clearing things out. Uh, you know what? I can see this one from base, so I'm going to go to this one. Two and a half k's that way. And I'm just going to ignore the streaming in because apparently I can't fix it.
I reckon next Tuesday morning, so that's the stuff I do before the Icarus stream. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on hopefully two things. One is uh, padding out that industrial spawn area and uh, removing the basic assembler from it and that sort of thing. And the other one is start designing some sort of pod for use with the Twitch integration. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. I will take that. Can I lift up this whole thing? Yes, I can. I now have a large hydrogen thruster and two smalls. <laughs> hey. This is coming together. Thanks, Barbacoso. Thanks for the prime sub. How's it going? Yes, this finish spawning in, that's all that you find with this truck. That is as intended. I mean, I arguably could consider... I probably could have had the back end break off from it, but I kind of wanted to just put a single block on the back, so I wanted it to be shorter. When will the changes go public? Probably on maybe next Tuesday. We'll see. We will see. Uh, so I got that. That was a handy little spawn. What's over this way? Well, I sort of have a heavy lifter in the sense that this thing's got a large Atmo, which does quite a lot of lifting, and I have a very otherwise minimal flyer here. Um, but yes, maybe I don't need a super heavy lifter. <laughs> I still want to make one. So the reason I don't want to go to space with just a couple of thrusters and I want thrust in all direction is not because I feel like I need it. Because I don't. Because yeah, you could use vector thrust and the like, or you could just fly it like I... You could just spin it around to stop. Turn and burn. But the reason I want to do it is because if I don't, I feel like I'm sort of cheating myself out of... the fun of this scenario, which is what I was trying to do in the first place. Uh... So that's why I want to wait till I've got six. On the wrong side. Lit. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, that's what I should do. My heavy lifter should be set up so that it can actually take um, the hydrogen thrusters. So it becomes my space lifter. Oh yeah, definitely want to have an interior volume on it. Because I otherwise can't have pressurized. And we've got more basic assemblers off to my left over there, which I will be getting rid of. What is in the shed, though? What you got for me, shed? You have a programmable block. On some other things, you've got an inset light and light box. I really like these inset light blocks for decorative bits. They're really handy. Mm. 
Do, do, do. Where's my thing? Over here. It, the inset light is just such an amazingly good decorative block. And just in this environment especially, this scrap environment, because it means they've got access to something that doesn't provide much materials, but provides lots of decorative options. And I really like it. No! Okay, that's a thing to know about this. You do not want to be in a position where you can click on the interfaces. Alright, I'll delete these other bits. Keep looking at the streaming thing and being like, Ooh, something new. Ooh, something new. Ooh, something new. And I'm like, no, wait. Nope, it's just stuck. It's just stuck. Alright. What else we got? Let's see if I can find myself another thruster. So we've got a dumpster I can see off to the side of these buildings. Might get another battery if I'm lucky. Uh, the grab tool is definitely a mod. Called Improvised Experimentation. Or Improvised Engineering if you're happy to play with the single player version. Uh, oh, that's on the far side of the base. All right, we'll stick with this. No, a large fleet is not. Oh, uh, loading in. Interesting. <laughs> I might need to spread these buildings out a bit more so that doesn't happen too often. Clearly, these are spawning a little too close to one another. Is there any... Are there any cells in there? Yeah, ten. Nice. Uh, so the two grids on top of each other is a thing that will happen from time to time. Uh, it's a thing I'm not going to be doing anything to fix. Other than if it starts happening too often in certain settings. But as a general rule, it's a thing that can happen. It's an expected behavior. But one I can't fix without... ...so much work that I can't be bothered doing it. To be perfectly blunt... Oh, wait, no. Uh, ditch those. Give me my power cell. Yeah. What do you got? Nothing. Okay. Uh, any motors? 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 No motors. Okay. Fine. How about you? Take your power cells. Uh, they won't explode because they're f both static grids. It's just how it works with MES spawns that do this. They're both static, so the game doesn't really care. If one of them was a mobile grid, the game would very much care. Unfortunately, the stuff I'm doing with MES is... A bit more than, um, it's not exactly as it was originally designed. 
it'd be great if um, MES had a function where you could spawn a village. So basically it had a grid that it put buildings within and you could specify the size of that grid and then it just places them randomly in that grid but won't spawn two in the same grid square. But I have no idea whether that's even remotely possible within the stuff that Lucas already has and I very much doubt it. Because I, as I understand it, even just finding a single flat area for a single building is hard work. Abandoned settlements works the same way this does, and that's why you'll find a lot of the buildings are just as janky as mine. Um, I could specify particular distances, particular offsets, but I haven't figured out a way to do offsets that then the building adjusts to the dynamically to the height of the terrain. Because what I'd ideally want to do is say, all right, this can spawn northeast of this, but when it spawns in, adjust its height so that it matches to the ground. Trouble is, once you set an X, Y, you also have to set a Z. And yet, I think some of the abandoned settlements are specific offsets from other buildings, which is why some of them get very deep or very elevated relative to the ground. Which I honestly thought was, in this case, a bigger concern than um, having something that occasionally clips through each other. Because the clipping is rarer than the being out of the ground. And I dislike the being out of the ground thing. I don't like it. It looks like these industrial buildings are way too generous on the power cells. I've collected so many in such a quick period of time. So I'll have to adjust that as well. Ah, glad you're enjoying it, you'll see. Yeah, fixed relative positions doesn't work. Full, because fixed relative positions means fixed relative height, and I want the things to adjust to the height of the terrain that they're spawning on. Yeah. Exactly. So it's... Really... If you don't want the buildings to clip into each other, the way I would have to do it is for every single cluster type have something that spawns between 0 and 20 meters. Something that spawns between 20 and 40. Something that spawns between 40 and 60. And then spread them out like that. So they they have their own bands that they can spawn in. And that would reduce the frequency of collision. However, I would then have to make a spawn group for each particular bit. For every single type of spawn. So adding stuff to the mod would take a lot more time. And it already takes long enough. So I decided I didn't care. <laughs> and I was just going to ignore it and just be like, eh, whatever. It's fine. It'll happen sometimes. Good luck not dying when you unclang them. <laughs> Under some circumstances, it can explode as you try and fix it. Um, to be honest, it feels like the sort of thing that is rather niche to this particular application. So I'm not sure Lucas is likely to put focus on it, especially now that he's got access to um, the economy API and is working on that stuff, which arguably is more broadly useful. Is 
Because if I ever start to understand how he does the economy stuff, I can start modding with it. And that opens up a whole lot of stuff. What I really hope, though, is that he introduces some sort of config file for the economy stuff so that I can control the prices that it offers. So I couldn't see one. It may already be there, but I couldn't see it. Because I'd like to make it... Um, stingy. <laughs> Should come as a surprise to nobody. But if I can make it stingy, then I can make it the goal for a particular um, series to use those economy stations as the way we do things. We have to buy, sell, scrap. And if the sell prices are terrible, then the buy prices you've got to work a bit harder for, which is a bit of fun. Anything I can see? No. How disappointing. Yeah, they have to be his own stores and stations. We can't mess with the vanilla ones, but he can add extra ones, and he can actually operate stores now, which is uh, a big change. Okay, far side. I can see something straight ahead, so I'm going to go to that. We've got something over there, which is a fair way away, actually. I should probably go through and delete the Chinook wreck on my way back through. Yeah, he's doing his own stores, but I'm hoping that we can modify the prices at those stores. Because I'd love to play the salvage hunter going out collecting stuff and having to buy everything from the overpriced station that we can't find and have stuff that you can't find or equally get repairs that way rather than having to rather than doing it a different way anything in the dumpster one day I'm going to find the dumpster that has the good stuff one day Cells, thank you. Oh, uh, I don't think I have oxygen bottles. Hydrogen bottles, but I don't think I have oxygen ones. Yeah, don't Inventory really care about my kids. Full. Don't have room for them either. Thanks, Zelda. Thank you for two months. How's it going? Uh, grab that. Grab. Like I can imagine, say starting down here with a with the scrapyard set up, and then you get to space. Oh yes, power cells in the cargo. It's working. Good. They're occasional, but they are there. Good. Good. Um. And then going up to space and having to deal with the the rip-off merchants in space that are going to try and make it hard for you to um, afford enough of the good stuff. Oh. Fell over. Uh, event controller. Two event controllers. And I like that this has fallen over in my way. bit of something different. Oops. And then I'll do 
delete the rest of this. I don't really care about that programmable block. I've got... Oh, I have accidentally left the creative mode on. Don't really care about the... Oh, no! Alright, I'm throwing those away. I clearly cheated some of these in. It was mainly the computers. Oh, wait. I need to delete this. Then I'm going to take the jalopy home with me. Yeah, I'm planning on adding space stuff, but kind of at the moment I'm in that point of having played on planet this much, I think we need more stuff on the planets to really flesh it out. Um, but hopefully not too much more. I think with the helicopters, maybe a couple of extra planes, maybe some more, more of the vehicles... Uh, a few of the tractors and the industrial area. I think I'm kind of happy with how much is on the planet for people to find. And then I'll start adding space stuff. But yeah, I was saying earlier I want to next week on my Tuesday morning stream, which is the bit before Icarus. I think I'll use that time to work on this and work on the Twitch integration spawning mod. So where instead of just calling in a MES spawn like this, we can call in something that power drops a specific item and we can start using some of the other features into it in nev's twitch mod such as you guys being able to vote things to come in so i want to make little drop pods that have a variety of different things in them that all look kind of the same and some of them will be trapped so that you can call those things in and have a bit of fun with oh, i left the event controllers didn't i thank you for that i have no idea where those are now they are definitely lost to me. Oh well. I don't really know what I was going to use them for, to be honest. Ooh. In my head, my plan was for me to make a station in space that has a um, a little notepad in it. The, a difficult station to get, but it has an assembler, it has a jump drive, it has all of the necessary things to feel complete. And in a notepad on it, say, Congratulations, you've completed your scrapyard journey. At this point, I would recommend removing the block restriction mod and continue playing and having fun. That sort of thing. And that way people can choose whether they want to continue playing that way or whether they're like, yeah, cool, all right, I'm going to continue playing with my stuff, but I'm going to give myself the ability to build things now and play it more like regular space engineers. I didn't think MES would delete your base if you took ownership of it, even if you are at 25Ks from it. you got to take ownership of the whole thing, though. Because mine didn't get deleted. But other MES spawns have been deleted. Um, how do I I was going? Where was I going? Yeah, there are lots of scrap mods out there. My problem with 99% of them is that they haven't approached scrap in the way that I have. I've been taking very painstaking care to only give the player what matches with a certain expected progression path. As soon as I start using other scrap mods that are out there, they don't have that same plan, so it doesn't really work. Capac works today, Spectre, so no, he will not be streaming today. That's why he streams last night.
Yeah, something like that, Zada. Something like that. Congratulations, you have passed the scrapyard training course. You may now resume your regular training programs or continue with this program. Like, <laughs> uh, for example, TFE openly acknowledges that his wreckage mod is exceedingly generous um, with the stuff that it has because it was more... It wasn't really intended to be balanced with this style of play. And that's true of pretty much all of them out there. They're not... They weren't... They weren't intended to be balanced, and thus are very not much not balanced. Ooh, engine. And O2H2 gen. That suddenly dropped to the ground. Um... Do I want to take these with me? Nah, I've got quite a few of them at home. Inventory full. You might, you might be right, Eisen. TFE's wreckage uh, might be, might have been him doing more of a proof of concept. He has a habit of um, approaching stuff like that. Similarly to, a, there are a few other modders out there that do approach things that way, where they're just like, I'm just going to see if this works. That's kind of my goal, is just to see full. whether this thing Inventory works. Full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. Inventory full. I tip that. Oh, whoa. Inventory full. 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 Okay, now I can get the motors. Alright, and delete. It's one of the biggest... It's one of the biggest issues with Space Engineers modding in general is balance. Um, I've mentioned this a huge number of times before about the lack of balance in weapon mods. There's no real attempt to, for a lot of them, make them integrate with the existing systems. Uh, it's people just going, I want to have this system, and they add it without trying to make it work with what's there at present. And for me, that... I like what's there. <laughs> I don't... I don't want the... I don't want the stuff that's currently there to be gone and to be pointless. So it's, yeah. And I, I think some of that comes down to the people that are I don't know how many modders get stuck in that trap where they stop playing the game and they just mod it. And I think you can see that amongst some game devs as well, where they don't actually play their own game, so they lose track of what's what's really needed for the game. I'm not a modder, so... <laughs> I'm just some dude that pokes around in files and sometimes gets things to work. Plus, arguably the stuff that I do isn't balanced either, because I just balance it for what I like. And apparently can't hit the right F key when I'm trying to... Ooh. That is a very complete battery. Do, do, 
do, do, do. But yeah, like, uh, so... Obviously... Inventory. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't yet watched um, the oh. latest set of, set of acquisitions with what I'm about to say full. next. Inventory. Uh, full. Inventory. Full. Inventory. But I added full. Lucas's Inventory. Full. trade mod to it. And one of the, the wrecks we captured was really easy to capture and really valuable to sell. So, for me, I've already told the guys we're not going to capture that again. Because that's just cheesy and it just kind of, it removes any of the sense of progression because we're like, oh, let's just keep doing the same thing over and over again and surely that'll be exciting. Oh, poop. I can't reach. I need to get the battery further out. Now I have a plan. <laughs> Dunk. The concept is amazing, and the concept is one I want to use, uh, but we'll we'll have to be mindful of what we actually use it with and we're going to have to enforce our own balance on it for the moment. Because uh, I want to use it. I really like it. But it's not really balanced for the style of play I want to do. And it, it's probably, I imagine it comes as no surprise to anyone that a lot of the way I play Space Engineers is self imposed challenge. It's only when I realize that I have some of the skills required to make something work that I'll try and do something like the scrapyard where I can actually impose the challenge properly. It's not just self imposed, it's actually imposed through mods. And so I'd like to be able to do more of that in setting these things up, but also the ability to self-impose challenges like we did in um, Wrong Way Up where we said only thrust in one direction sort of thing. Um, it means you can be more dynamic with those challenges when you need to change them rather than having it be a mod where you have to then fix the whole mod and change the whole thing. It's actually a lot more work. <laughs> it's kind of nice to just be like, this is self-imposed. I'm not wanting to do this self-imposed challenge anymore. Let's change the rules. Or, this is too easy. Let's make it harder. Let's change the rules. Works in both ways. I think I've collected enough junk for the moment. Let's see if I've got enough motors to build this thing. Probably grab all the junk out first. And avoid the hole. Oh, I don't quite have enough motors, but I'm close. Another 13 to go. How many power cells have I gotten? 15. 
I have 15, 16, 21. Oh yeah, way too many power cells. That has gotten a lot too generous. <laughs> I'm going to have to change that. Do I have any decent number on any of that? Probably got a few in the conveyors on these things. I know I've upset a few people when I was <laughs> looking for motors and I ignored the motors that were inside the truck. There we go, only five to go. Uh, there's one. There's another one. Does the drill have any? No. Hmm. I think we're going to be like three short. So close. Wait, do you go? You have motors. Aha. One short. Come on, I can find a motor somewhere. Where's a the motor? There's a motor. Nice. So I've got two large hydro large atmo thrusters to add. I've got a large hydrogen thruster and two smalls. So what I think I'm going to do is um, I'm going to wrap up here for today because I'm going to go and try and work on editing my tutorial and also doing a bit of prep work before Assertive Acquisitions recording, which happens tonight. Uh, next Friday, I'm just going to play the survival of this because... I'm going to use Tuesday to do some more modding and adding a few more things and tweaking the balance because, wow. Um, too many power cells. <laughs> Way too many. I think because the uh, industrial grids, every single one of them seem to give me power cells of some sort. Uh, so I definitely need to go through that and uh, tweak that downward. I will be back with... Hopefully uh, that tutorial that I'm going to record today and uh, try and get some editing done on it today. I'll be back with that hopefully before Wednesday, which will be a sort of acquisitions. So it might be out Monday or Tuesday. Uh, there's going to be a sponsored video coming out very soon. Not sure exactly when that will be, but possibly this weekend. And I will be back on Monday as per usual uh, with Black Shadow and some more farming sim. And then Icarus Tuesday. You know, all those things. They're all in the schedule here on Twitch. So you can see when it is in your local time zone. But that was a mouthful. So there's all that and plenty more to come. And I will see you then. Have a great one, everyone. Bye.